you can write automation scripts with a Roku remote tool to navigate your channel's on-device sign-in and sign-out flows. Once the scripts have been written, you can upload them to the channel behavior analysis tool in the developer dashboard and then run Roku's automated performance and deep linking certification tests on the channel. This enables you to verify that the channel passes the same test that Roku executes before submitting the channel for certification. To get started writing your scripts, you're first going to sideload your development channel on your Roku test device. For this video, I'm going to use the on-device authentication sample channel, which you can download from Roku's GitHub repository. This channel features a simple sign-in flow. And then launch the Roku remote tool. You can run this tool from your web browser or download the standalone app and run it from your desktop. When the Roku remote tool opens, you first add your test device to it. In the device manager, enter the IP address of your test device, enter a name to be used to identify the device, and then click Add. Toggle the device on and then close the dialog. Next, add your development channel. To do this, click Add Channel and enter the name of the channel that is specified in the title attribute of the channel manifest. And then enter the channel ID, which is dev because you sideloaded the channel, and then click Add to Table. Finally, click the Add icon for the channel under Add to Script. Now let's start writing the sign-in script. The sign-in script enables Roku's test devices in the cloud to log in to your authenticated channel and run a set of deep linking and performance tests on it. So let's first click Launch the Channel. Select the channel from the channel name list and then click Add. You don't need to enter the deep linking content ID and media type parameters. Finally, click the Add icon for the channel under Add to Script. This adds a launch step for the channel to the script. Now, use the keypad on the left side of the tool to sign into the channel. As you click a button, a press step with the name of the button is added to the script. When you get to a keyboard dialog for entering login credentials, enter the username and password in the keyboard input box and then click the arrow button to the right of it. A text step with a credential is added to the script. Also note that you may need to insert a sleep step by pressing the pause icon for any action in the UI that takes time to be completed before another step in the script can be executed. For example, it may take a few seconds for the channel UI to be populated after being launched. Adding a sleep step ensures that the subsequent steps are actually navigating the UI. Also, it is important not to include any steps that exit the channel. This will cause certification testing to fail. For example, do not include a home step and do not include a back step if it results in the channel being exited. Once you've completed the sign-in flow, use your Roku remote control or the Roku mobile app to return to the home screen and then click the play button to test the script. Edit the steps as needed until the script successfully signs the user in. When you have finished testing the sign-in script, change the username in the script to script login and change the password to script password. The channel behavior analysis tool will replace these placeholder values with the actual credentials entered in the test credentials window. Certification testing will fail if the actual credentials are still in the script. So now that your sign-in script is done, you can export it to your desktop. To do this, click the hamburger icon to the right of the New Script button, click Export Scripts, select the checkbox for the script to be exported, and then click Export Scripts again. A file with a RASP extension is downloaded to your desktop. The sign out script is run when certification testing has been completed. This returns the channel to its logged out state for any subsequent automation testing. So in the Roku remote tool, click add new script, enter a name for the script that makes it easy to identify as a sign out script, 
and then click create. First, add the channel and then add a launch channel step. Now use the keypad to enter the steps for signing out of the channel. When you have finished signing out, test the script by returning to the home screen, running the sign in script, and then running the sign out script. When you have finished testing the sign out script, export it to your desktop. So now that we have RASP files for our sign in and sign out scripts, we can upload them to the channel behavior analysis tool in the developer dashboard and run certification testing on the authenticated channel. So first, make sure that you've completed all the steps in the channel publishing flow before channel behavior analysis. This includes uploading a channel package, running static analysis testing, entering deep linking parameters, and providing login credentials so the Roku test devices in the cloud can log into your channel. So in the channel behavior analysis window, go to sign in slash out scripts and click edit. Select the test credentials that contain the username and password to be used to sign into the channel. The channel behavior analysis tool will automatically replace the script login and script password template variables in the script with the username and password entered for the selected test credentials. In the upload scripts dialog, Click Upload to upload the exported sign-in RASP file on your desktop. The script body pane on the right displays the steps in the script. The pane highlights the username and password that have replaced the script login and script password template variables. Upload the sign out RASP file and then click Save to return to the Channel Behavior Analysis window. Click Run Channel Behavior Analysis. The Roku test devices in the cloud will use your sign-in script to log into the channel. Once signed in, the Roku test devices run deep linking and performance tests on the channel and display the results in the table below. If your channel passes certification testing, you can schedule it for publishing. Otherwise, fix any reported errors, re-upload your channel package, and then retest your channel.